Hello parents, for math we will be talking about and learning about operations, addition and subtraction, the problem solving model. This week we are going to focus on addition only and before we start the problem solving model I will be going over the vocabulary for this week. So as you can see here we have eight vocabulary words. We have add, addend, sum, solve, sketch, addition word problem, compose, and total. So as you can see here, this is the kindergarten problem solving model. So we have four steps in this problem solving model. We have analyze, that's the given information to understand. So we read the problem, we understand the question, we model with counters, we sketch with numbers. Once we do that, we go to the right and we formulate a plan or strategy. So that means we write the operation, which is a symbol, which is add or subtract. So in this case, we're gonna be adding. We write the method, which is add or subtract. We write a number sentence or equation. And the last thing we do is write the process. What did we find? Did we find the sum or the difference? And in this case, we will be finding the sum. After we formulate, we solve and we justify. Solve the problem using manipulatives to justify. Write the answer as a numeral. And once we do that, we will go and we will evaluate the solution. We will answer the question by justifying with a complete sentence or write the number word. In this case, since we are kinder, we will write the number word. So here we have an addition problem. We have two ducks, one more joins, how many ducks? So this is our example here. So here we have two ducks and we put two dots. We have one more dot, one more duck joining. So we put a dot and then we formulate our plan or strategy. What is the operation? The plus sign. What is the method? Add. We write our number sentence. 2 plus 1 equals, and we don't write the answer on this one. We just write the solution box. And then the process. We're looking for the sum. And we solve and justify. We know that it is 2 plus 1 equals 3, and then we write the number word here. So let's begin with another example. So here I have, for the ones that have this page, it's page 164 in their binders. But if you don't, you can just follow along for now. So we have five bears. We're going to count them. One, two, three, four, and five. So we write our number five. Now, we know that we are going to add here. That's our addition sign. How many more teddy bears do we have? We're gonna write our numbers. One, two, three, and four. So we know we have four teddy bears. Now we want to know the total. The total, we're looking for the sum. How many bears do we have in total? But we're not gonna write our number, our answer yet because we have to go through our up C model, our problem solver up. Uh, our problem solving model. So let's analyze our question. So we know that we have five bears. So we're gonna write the number five and write five dots. Two, three, four, and five. And then we have four more. One, two, three, and four. So that's your first part. That's your analyzing part. Once we do that, we go to formulate our plan. So what we're gonna do, we're going to circle our operation. Are we going to uh, use a plus sign or the minus sign? We are going to use the plus sign because we are adding. What is the method, add or subtract? Add, correct. 
and we are going to make our number sentence or equation. So we know our first add end is five. We're gonna use our operation. And then our second add in is four. But remember, leave this blank. This is our solution box. We're not gonna do anything here. And the last thing we're gonna do is, what is the process? Are we looking for the sum? Or are we looking for the difference? We are looking for the sum, correct. Now we're going to solve and justify. So what we can do, we can write our equation Five plus four equals, and we can do our dots, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So how many do we have all together? Nine. Now we are going to evaluate the solution. We could either do a, sen a complete sentence or the number word. Since we are kinder, like I had stated before, we are just going to write the number word. So nine, the number word is N-I-N-E. And that is it for our problem solving model. So what we're gonna do, we're going uh, to go ahead and do page 194 together so how many ducks do we have let's count one two we write our number two we have our addition sign our plus sign we know we're going to add how many more ducks do we have we have one two and three we know that we our second add-in is three. So now we are going to analyze our information. So we have two ducks, one, two, and then three more come. We're gonna write the number three, one, two, and three. Now, once we do that, we formulate our plan or strategy. What is the operation? We are going to use the correct plus sign because we are adding. Are we going to add or subtract? When we use a plus sign, we add. Good job. Now we're going to make our Number sentence, and what is our number sentence? We have our first add-in and our second add-in. So we're gonna write two plus three. Do we write anything here, boys and girls? No, no we don't, very good. And when we are adding, we are looking for the sum, good job. Once we do that, we are going to solve and justify. So we're gonna write our add-ins, two plus three. How many do we have all together? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, and five. Five. Now we are going to evaluate the solution. So what we're going to do, we're going to write the number word. And how do you write the word five? F, I, V, E, very good. And then the other one, I, what I forgot to do was write our answer here. So five, we have five ducks all together. Okay, boys and girls. So the next page that you're going to do and you're going to do by yourselves is page 195. So this is the page you're going to be doing by yourselves. So if you actually do not have the work, these papers, what you can do, just get a blank sheet of paper, just the way I have here, and make your UPC model. So all you do, you're going to make 
four. You're gonna make a T. So the first thing on page 185, how many fish do we have? So we're going to count how many fish we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So our first add-in is nine. So we're going to write our number nine here. For the ones that don't have it, you can make the number nine. And if you can, draw your nine fish. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, we know we're doing the plus sign. Okay. How many more fish do we have? What is our second add -in? As you can see here, how many fish do we have? We have zero. So we are going to write our number zero. Write our number zero. How many fish in all? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to analyze our information given to us. So the first thing we're going to do is analyze. So we have this paper. We're going to write the number nine and just put nine dots. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the same thing if you don't have one of those papers on your blank sheet of paper, you're going to write nine and your nine dots. And our second add-in is zero. We don't have any. We don't have any on our second add-in. So, the next thing we're going to do is plan or formulate a plan or strategy. So here, if you do have the paper, what operation are we going to use or symbol? We're going to use a plus sign. So you're going to write the plus sign. So same thing here, we're going to use the plus sign. Are we going to add or subtract? Mm -hmm. Well, when we use a plus sign, we add. So for if you don't have it, you write the word add. A, D, D. Now the next thing is the number sentence. Yes. So our first add in is nine. The symbol plus zero. So the same thing here, nine plus zero equals solution box. We're not gonna write our answer. We're just gonna write the solution box. And lastly, we're going to write the process. Are we using this, are we looking for the sum or the difference? Yes, we are looking for the sum. So if you don't have the paper, you write the word sum, S-U-M. Good. So right now your paper should look like this. And if you have that, you're doing such an awesome job. Okay, the next thing we are going to solve and justify. So we're going to write our equation. Nine plus zero. So we're gonna do our nine dots. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do we put anything here? No, why? Because zero is nothing. It has no value. So nine plus zero is correct, nine. So the same thing for this one. We're gonna write nine and our nine dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus our second add-in is zero. Do we put anything here? No, you are correct because it zero is nothing, good. So nine plus zero is nine. And the last thing we're going to do, we're going to evaluate. And what is the number word for nine? N, I, N, E, good job.
good job. So if you do have the paper, write the word nine. N I N E. So your paper should look just like this. Or if you don't have one, your problem solving paper should look like this. Well, good job, boys and girls. This is the Epsi model for Kinder, or also called the problem solving model. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know by messaging us. Um, so have fun with it. You can also use manipulatives so you can show them. Um, oh, I did forget to write the number nine up here. I also want this one. There you go. So any questions, please message us. Thank you. Bye-bye.